Hey, what's going on? My name is Vinci and I'm back with another video. Today we are going to be talking about the ancient Mayan king who claimed to be a god. In the background, I'm going to be drawing a picture. So I found this article by Joshua Mark written in 2014 that I found to be fascinating and I'm going to be reading from now. Kinich Janab Pakal was the Mayan king of Palenque in modern-day Mexico. He was known as Pakal the Great and most famous for raising the city of Palenque from relative obscurity to a great power. His building projects and cities, his elaborately carved sarcophagus lid, which had been interpreted by some to show an ancient astronaut riding a rocket ship, though speculated. He was married and had three sons who succeeded him in rule. The vast metropolis remains unexcavated in the surrounding jungle. Pakal assumed the throne of Palenque at the age of 12 in 615 CE. He ruled successfully until his death at the age of 80. Palenque was a modest city when Pakal took the throne, and it was through his efforts that it became one of the great urban centers in Mesoamerica. Upon his mother's death in 640 CE, Pakal took the throne at age 12. Pakal almost instantly began building enormous and elaborately worked monuments in order to celebrate both the city's past and his family's legitimate claim to rule. The Mayanist scholar, Jean Stewart writes, Pakal emphatically traced his lineage back to a deity as well as royal humans. And other rulers also found it wise to establish divine ancestors. A Maya ruler served as the human manifestation of gods on earth. As the intermediary between humans and gods, he claimed the power to control the supernatural forces of the universe. In rituals, he nurtured and glorified the gods, seeking to maintain the always precarious balance of nature in an agricultural society. Pakal and his eldest son would make sure to represent the accomplishments and legitimacy of his family, building all of the monuments of Palenque, including the palace, the temple, of the cross and the temple of inscriptions. The temple of inscriptions. This focus on recording the history of the city through architecture is especially notable in the famous temple of inscriptions. Construction began in 675 CE and it was purposely built as the tomb of Pakal. The temple of inscriptions is a pyramid with a small building at the top, inscribed with the second longest continuous Maya text yet discovered in Mesoamerica in an incredibly long hieroglyphic staircase. For a century after Palenque was discovered, the pyramid was thought to be of religious origin in the city, as the inscriptions were undecipherable. Until the Mexican archaeologist Alberto Ruiz recognized the walls of the small temple continued down below the floor. He discovered that the platform of the floor had drill holes and had been sealed by stone plugs, and he surmised that the Mayan lowered the floor into place with ropes, perhaps to seal the royal tomb. Between 1948 and 1952, Ruiz worked with his team excavating the temple, and finally he discovered the tomb of Pakal the Great. He writes, Out of the dim shadows emerged a vision from a fairy tale, a fantastic ethereal sight from another world. It seems a huge magic grotto carved out of ice, the walls sparkling and glistening like snow crystals. The impression, in fact, was that of an abandoned chapel. Across the walls marched stucco figures in low relief. Then my eyes sought the floor. This was almost entirely filled with a great carved stone slab in perfect condition. 
The stone slab was a sarcophagus of Pakal, which, when removed, revealed the great king wearing a jade mask and adorned as the Maya maze god in jade jewelry and a beaded skirt. The tomb contained a great quantity of treasure. Okay, the tomb contained a great quantity of earrings, wristlets, bracelets, and necklaces, and a jade base relief of high quality. Stuart writes, The Maya held jade in esteem equal to Quetzal, the feathers of a Quetzal bird, in part because they saw the green as a symbol of life. The elite wore jade jewelry by the pound in necklaces, earrings, bracelets, and anklets, and belts. None of the treasures, however, proved to be as valuable to the Mayanist as the sarcophagus lid itself, which depicted the Maya view of the cosmos. Pakal's Sarcophagus and Identity Controversy The sarcophagus lid measures 3.6 by 2 meters, or 12 by 7 feet. And it shows a man tilting backwards at the base of a tree with a bird high at the top, either falling into or springing out of what happens to be a large urn. Glyphs and symbols run around the edges of the lid, all representing important components of the Mayan cosmology. Pakal's sarcophagus is what he is best known for in the modern day. Theorist claimed the lid depicted a man riding a rocket ship, smoke issuing from an exhaust pipe behind him, the glyphs representing outer space. In reality, the relief shows the world tree, which the Mayan believed to hold its roots in the underworld, the trunk on the earthly plane, and the branches in high paradise, and Pakal's relationship to it in death. The king depicted either at the moment of death falling from the earthly plane down into the underworld or climbing up the world tree towards paradise. I'm going to link this, this article down in the bio. It's very fascinating. Uh, would recommend checking it out. If you like to read more into things, feel free. But I found this interesting because this view of the cosmos is very similar to ancient Egyptians who believe that we are children of the cosmos. We came from the stars. We are made from stardust, quite literally. And this consciousness we have is very valuable and powerful. And they knew how to use it. We aren't quite sure today a lot of this stuff from our ancient past gets swept under the rug. It, um, it's written off by academics. And um, a lot of these, these megalithic monuments around the world consistently show of technology that we currently do not have. And nobody cares. I have found a great fascination of our ancient past, specifically the art and architecture left behind. I have devoted a good chunk of time to study this niche. And uh, to be honest with you, this is just the tip of the iceberg. I could talk for days about the consistent anomalies all around the world that hint towards a strange and mysterious ancient past. I'm curious to know if you enjoy content like this. There's a lot that's constantly on my mind. So let me know down in the comments below. And I will continue with these videos. And I will continue to share more artifacts and stories from history like these. Now you can get a free custom drawing like this one delivered straight to your door. Anything you can imagine. If you want a tattoo designed, if you want a logo, if you want a portrait of your girlfriend or your wife, maybe it's your significant other. Anything you want. 
All you have to do is pay the price of shipping and I will draw it for you and ship it right to your door with a secret surprise inside as well. So head over to my website, support me if you can. I have prints available. I have galleries. There's a lot of stuff over there. Go check it out. I'm going to have all of my social media linked below. Go follow me. I'm active. I'm always posting. Again, thanks for your support. I appreciate you. I'm out.